Good morning, I'm Christy Miller here with Sands Hall, author of Flunk Start, Reclaiming My Decade Lost in Scientology. And Sands, what a great book. Thank yes, you. it's about Scientology, but there's no scandal here. You didn't do the scandal. Why? That is, I'm so grateful you asked that question because it's an issue. It's because I didn't have a scandal in my time in the church, and I was very aware that there were many memoirs coming out, and in fact, it kept me from writing it for a while. But then I realized I just want to tell my story that hopefully will reach a whole different kind of reader, not just those interested in scandal, but about what draws a person in and how people can manage to leave. And so this is a book about hope. It's very much a book about hope. And what was a great thing, I think many people who've worked on memoirs, read memoirs, but particularly in writing them, that's usually the place you get to, which is, what did I go through and what lesson can I offer to my reader mm -hmm. that they can have as well? I mean, I think that's why we write memoir in many ways, is to give that gift as much as we can to the reader. You talk about this being a decade lost, and then ultimately you didn't talk about this for another decade. Um, so what was it that finally made you start talking? <laughs> Well, I was in the church at a time when there was no internet. And there was a moment when I went online, I was going to, I really upped my prof, you know, teaching career, and I went online to check what if my bio was loaded on a website for a conference where I was going to teach. And I typed in Sands Hall, and the first thing that popped up on the website was Scientology courses taken by Sands Hall. Yeah. I was mortified. <laughs> And I slammed you know, the lid down, and then I looked at it again, and I thought, oh my God, oh my God, anybody that goes looking for my name knows that I was in the Church of Scientology, and I hadn't even been able to say the word out loud. I was mm -hmm. so embarrassed that I'd spent those years there, that I'd ever been involved. But all of a sudden, it was like this clean wind just went, Everybody knows. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, everybody. People who might happen to go Google my name. <laughs> it's like, but it was a huge relief. And then it was like, okay. And that was, I think, the mm -hmm. beginning of being able to think about it and eventually to begin to write about it. It's out there. Yep. Nothing you can do about it. Moving on. Yep. Right? That was it. So Flunk Start for paperback is being retitled, Reclaiming My Decade Lost in Scientology. We want to make sure that people look for that because uh, it is a different cover and, and that different title. So for interviews, speaking engagements, your website is probably the best place for people to it go. It is, yes. Okay. It's, uh, if I remember to keep it updated, <laughs> it's got everything. It's my, my editing work, my music work as a songwriter, but above all, readings and speaking engagements and other places I'll be working with the book. Excellent. So. We'll find you at sandshall.com. Thank you so much, Christy. It was great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.